One of the things that you can enjoy almost more than getting out off-road is working on your vehicle, accessorizing it and setting it up just right for you. In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to consider when mounting up your tread recovery boards. Now let's get started. When mounting up recovery boards, you need to ensure security while the boards are fitted and safety while driving, which is referred to as dynamic force. The first consideration is how are you going to mount the recovery boards? Flat on top of the surface or on their side? When mounting a pair flat, it is possible to just use two mounting pins. However, you need to ensure the boards are perfectly flat front and rear. When using tread mounting pins or a base plate, they have a raised surface which the board will sit on, so you need to ensure you level the board front and rear to eliminate the board from wobbling. To do this, you might require the use of four pins or two base plates. Another way is to ensure the base plates or the mounting pins are positioned lower than the flat mounting surface. Some manufacturers racks have an option to use a clamping system between the rails. You can use that clamping system with our mounting pins or if you are handy and have the right equipment, you could even fabricate your own clamping system between the rails or bracket to use our pins or base plate mounted between those channels. In a few cases, manufacturers have already developed a bracket system especially for their racks in which you can fit the tread mounting pins onto, making mounting recovery boards an absolute cinch. When mounting two of the tread base plates flat to the roof rack using the manufacturer's fasteners to clamp down the blade, ensure you use two along the length of the groove to eliminate the chances of twisting. Follow the same principle whether the roof rack has vertical or horizontal channels. This is why there are several mounting holes within the base plate design. You can even just use the pins mounted directly to the accessory mounting slots on the roof rack mounting system using the manufacturer's channel hardware system if you can perfectly line up the center point of the mounting slots to your tread mounting holes. If you are mounting to a tubeless style rack with a 25mm diameter crossbar support tubes or upper rails and a 35mm diameter outer frame, there are some specially designed adapters to mount the tread base plate and pins to these on either flat or side mount orientation. You can also just use these pins straight onto a flat surface or as an example, a toolbox, the back of your vehicle tray, bed rack, bed rack side panels. To do this, position the pin according to the mounting hole location of the recovery board, drill a hole to allow the M6 bolt to pass through into the pin. After you drill, you should always apply a little bit of rust proofing onto that hole. Then mount the pin on one side and the bolt coming through from the other side. If you're doing this on a sealed box or anywhere you do not want water to pass through, seal that area up with some waterproofing glue. It is essential to remember if you plan to mount two pairs of recovery board, then we always recommend the use of four pins for added strength and security. There are so many ways to use the tread mounting solutions to mount your recovery boards. This just covers off some of them and a lot of these principles and steps can be used on other types of roof rack mounting systems. If you are unsure, speak to your local shop for advice. Always check with the manufacturer of the product you are mounting to before attempting any modifications to install your recovery boards. We hope this video has helped and shown you just some of the ways you can mount your tread recovery boards ready for your next adventure.